Kyle Eric Tab Reviewing Set 75369 Boba Fett Mac. This set released August 1st of this year, retails for 16 euro with one minifigure, which is exclusive to the set. This is easily one of the best minifigures of the year. The printing for Boba's helmet is really spot on with reflective printing on the scuff marks and the dent on the helmet. Boba uses the rangefinder piece in grey, and a big positive for the set is that you get a clone helmet accessory pack in grey, which is really cool. And I guess you could also use it to make the 501st battle pack from this year more accurate. Boba has a brand new face print for 2023 with a more accurate skin tone and a somewhat angry but at the same time neutral expression. While he doesn't have an alternate face print, he does have scar printing in the back of his head. Boba uses the Lego Star Wars jetpack in green, which is the same one he's been using for the last 13 years. Oh, I feel old after saying this. The torso printing is his Mandalorian armor with a lock of hair and belt printing. Surprisingly, for a minifigure in a set for 16 bucks, he actually has arm printing. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome. The back printing has the back of Boba's armor as well as the belt printing continues to the back. The leg printing has like this red band across the hips, pouches, a printed cod piece, yellow knee pads which look kind of weird, and boot printing. For accessory, Boba has a sci-fi blaster with a black lightsaber hilt used an extension, which is the same way they've been representing his blaster in Lego form since like 2019. It's insane to get a minifigure of this detail in such a cheap set, especially from a licensed theme, and from Lego Star Wars nonetheless. The only thing Boba is really missing is a cloth around his shoulder. The mech on the other hand, it's... Not that good. The feet of the mech are very flat with a spiked toe that is supposed to represent the spikes in Boba's boots, and it's connected to the legs through a ball joint, which allows you to spin the feet at full 360 degrees. Unfortunately, the knees are constantly stuck being bent due to the usage of the Evo mech joints in grey, which really hurts the overall posability of the mech. The legs also have this weird bulkiness to them, with one side clearly having more meat than the other, although the use of yellow cylinder pieces to represent Boba's knee pads is a nice touch. The legs are connected to the body of the mech with a ball joint connection, which allows you to move the legs back and forward and side to side. The cockpit area of the mech has a red grill piece to represent the red notch under Boba's belt, and this brown rounded piece which is supposed to represent Boba's belt but clips the outer side of the whole Boba's blaster while he's piloting the mech. The cockpit piece is the same one used for older Marvel mechs in dark grey, but a printed 2x2 two two for Boba's chest piece. You can open it like so and place Boba inside while he has his jetpack on. Very cool. The back of the mech is incredibly bare, although you do have Boba's jetpack represented, which is a good old-fashioned flickfire missile to represent the rocket launch built into Boba's jetpack. Like the legs of the mech, the arms are really hindered by the great Eva mech joints, as they're constantly stuck bent like so, which doesn't offer a lot when it comes to posing. The arm is connected to the body of the mech through a ball joint and can rotate a full 360 degrees like so. The shoulder pad is... it's okay. The print showing the Mandalorian emblem on Boba's shoulder pad would have been a nice touch. The hand is straight up awful though. For some reason, Lego decided not to use the new mech finger pieces from earlier is here, but instead this angled curved piece for the thumb, which doesn't move and these pretty stumpy fingers which can move up and down. There's also a flick fire missile held by a clip the side of the arm, which I think is supposed to be Boba's wrist flamethrower. The right arm is very similar to the left arm, with a ball joint connecting the arm to the body of the mech, although instead of having an empty hand, it holds Boba's blaster through a Technic connection. The brick build blaster is alright, but like the hands, it's pretty stumpy looking. As a play feature, the blaster is a newer style stud shooter. Again, the Evo mech joints really hold this set back compared to the ball joints used for the older LEGO Marvel mechs. To be honest, the only reason to get this set is for the superb Boba Fett minifigure, because the mech just isn't good. The Eva mech joints really hold this set back from being great, and I honestly think LEGO should just dump the Eva mech joints and go back to the ball joints. While sure the Eva mech joints provide a lot more stability for the mech, they also eliminate nearly all possibilities of posing the mech. Plus, for 16 bucks, this isn't the best value. But, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for my future LEGO set reviews. And until next time, see ya.